Portland area beaches open tomorrow, it certainly means the unofficial start of summer. Lifeguards will be on duty with an eye on keeping swimmers safe. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian is at Coney Island where the locals and visitors are kicking off the season. It's getting hot out here, and while it may be tempting to just take a dip in the water, remember lifeguards don't officially start in city beaches until Saturday. Also, the water is uncomfortably cold from what I'm hearing. It's a little early for the beach, but to be on these rides and to see everyone at the beach and, you know, together with family, enjoying, you know, having some time off, I mean, that's so great. I love that. Really special. Coney Island is both a place for thrills and chills. Water temperatures are just under 60 degrees now, which isn't the comfortable level for taking a dip. I went in before and it's really cold, so... I don't think I'm going to go in again. It's too early, right? It's too early. No, no, it's actually, uh, for me, it's late. <laughs> Sark Johansson, visiting from Hamburg, Germany, is used to the cold waters. Throughout the beach, red flags are posted advising beachgoers not to swim. Our main priority for everyone is to have a safe and happy summer. City officials said earlier this week that the city is experiencing a lifeguard shortage for the second year in a row. There are about 500 set to start this season, but the demand citywide, about three times that, 1,400 lifeguards in total. There's still much to do at the beach and boardwalk while staying dry. Well, I think it's great to spend it here. So we've got a picnic and we're just taking a lovely walk in this beautiful day, blue sky and fresh breeze. So it feels like you're playing in the snow right now. Uh-huh. A little snowy. Six-year-old Clara Berger from Jersey City went about knee-deep into the water, further than most. You're very brave. <laughs> Thank you. And as for the cool temperatures in the water, keep in mind it's still only spring until June 21st. In Coney Island, Christy Kalishi and CBS 2 News. Beaches on Long Island are also being prepped for the season, also for this weekend's Beth Page Air Show. Today, pilots were already in the air, pulling off some stunts to get ready. Coming up at 5.30, Carolyn Gussoff is there live with how they're honoring service members and the excitement for the show. And we have all of our coverage for Memorial Day weekend on our website, including the full forecast, links to check your flight status, what you need to know if you're going to one of the Taylor Swift concerts, and a whole lot more. It's all there for you at CBSNewYork.com.